Hey guys, Brian here with another Clash of Clans video, and welcome to episode number 6 of Road to Max Town Hall level 9. Um, I haven't made one of these in a really long time, but I wanted to pick off where I left off. Um, last episode, it was on the Clash Army, I believe, and uh, we were working on level 9 walls, and that's what I'm going to keep working on, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade 2 right now while we can afford them. Um, I'm just more interested in getting the level 9 walls now than I am getting... Um, the Expos or Teslas or Mortars up or even the uh, Wizard Towers. I might finish off the Wizard Towers just so I have an even look to them. Um, but I, I do want to get them up to level 7 probably and then I'll continue to work on these walls. Um, as I really like the level 9 walls, we got our Xmas trees here. We actually got a bunch on this one. Um, and yeah, so recently guys, I was sponsored by Loot Crate. I'm super excited about that. I'm going to start posting monthly videos of unboxing of the Loot Crate um, crates that we get every month. And I will also be putting links in my description for you guys to be able to sign up if you guys want to check that out. It's pretty neat. And um, I, I do apologize for yesterday's video, guys. The uh, frame, it was out of place. I didn't even realize it until later on in my stream and somebody said something. Um, so you guys couldn't see the whole screen. So I apologize for that, guys. But we're going to be doing some farming raids today. Um, we got our barbarians and our goblins. And we're going to see how much gold we can get. Hopefully we can get like... Maybe two more walls up, so we'll try to get a million gold and a million elixir and then get two more level 9 walls. I'm not sure how many we're at right now. Let's go ahead and check. And I do need to make some more bases for this. So I'm going to remove all. So far we are at 40 Lego walls. And I do have some level 7s I forgot about, so I'll have to get those up too. I do want to work on some Lego walls today, try to get two more, and then I will work on those a little bit later. But um, yeah, so I'm going to start farming on this account again, guys. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to the first attack. Alright guys, so here we got the first base. It looks like we got an inactive one, but it does have a ton of loot. So we're going to see what we can pick off with this. I do like to use a Barbarian Goblin combo. Uh, combo. I didn't bring any wall breakers though, so that's going to suck. Um, but I think we should be okay to get in here. So I'm going to actually use my Archer Queen right there. Then I'm going to use my King to distract the Wizard Tower over here. And put down my Goblins to see if I can get into the center here. Break through this wall. I'm going to put down some Barbarians here. I'm going to use my King's ability as well. Try to get him through. And it uh, looks like we're starting to collect some of the loot. Going to put down some goblins up here as well. And uh, we're going to take it all, man. I, I hope we get like 400,000 on this one. That'd be awesome. Um, it doesn't look like he has any inside his uh, storages. So we should be okay to get all of it. Nice. All right, we just need to get one more here. Don't even have to use all my troops and we should get there. If they can get past that wizard tower, which would be awesome. All right, 38,000 left and 27,000 left. Oh, it's right here. Okay, we're going to get this one. And then we do want the trophies. I do want to get higher up in cups. There are a lot of inactive bases here. I don't know if we can actually get the town hall, though. We'll have to see. I'm going to wait until the mortar goes, and then I'm going to put down another round. There we go. And uh, we should have the town hall here. And we have some leftover troops. Nice. So we got the one star there, and uh, we did get a bunch. Where's this dark elixir, actually? Does he have any Dark Elixir? He does have Dark Elixir. It's inside it. Oh, it's right there. We can get that. We can get the Dark Elixir. Dark Elixir's good. We like Dark Elixir. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We got like 100 Dark Elixir. Nice. So that's a good starting raid of 580,000 on our first raid, guys. That's definitely going to help us out in our quest to go ahead and get some more walls. Four cups, 100 Dark Elixir. I'll take it. Um, going back to the base really quick, speaking of Dark Elixir, I want to see how much it actually costs to upgrade my Archer Queen since I need to do so. Alright, so we need about 7,000 more to get her upgraded. Sounds good. And we got placed into Silver 1. I probably want to go to around the Gold 2 or Gold 1 range to farm. I think that's a lot better up there. However, if we keep finding an active bases like that, I'm going to be a happy camper. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the second attack, guys. Alright, guys. Next up, it looks like we have another inactive base. It's going to be really, really simple on this one. Just going to go ahead and put down some barbarians and some goblins, and we should be good to get all the loot on this one as well. Um, the town hall might be an issue, though. We might have to take the trophy loss on this one, and uh, that'll be okay, though. He doesn't have much dark elixir, and that's fine, too. Eventually, I'll just pull out the lightning spells and just go hunting for the big ones and lightning spell the dark elixir. Um, but yeah, so we got that one, 35%. We might actually be able to get 50% on this one if we pick off some of these buildings on the outside. So I do, like I said, want to gain trophies and go up. On my main account, guys, I ended up yesterday with 3,469 trophies. And I have a shield on right now, and I'm boosting my mines. Um, so I'm pretty stoked about that. I'm going to keep pushing, probably go up to like 3,600, because I want to get back in the clouds and have some fun up there. Um, but yeah, 
53% on this base, and we gained another nice 400,000 loot there. So awesome, that's almost half a wall for us. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the third raid, guys. Alright guys, so here we are on the next clip. Um, it did get messed up while I was recording live, so wanted to show you it anyways. Um, I attacked this inactive base here. I put my king down to distract the mortars, which probably wasn't the best idea. I should have put him down over here to just take out all these buildings and then distract the mortars because he was taking way too much damage. I put my archer queen down to take out that wizard tower because I knew it was going to be a problem if my goblins do get through the wall. And then the goblins head on through here. Um, my king is still tanking up the mortars, and then one of them switched over. As you can see, the king got out of range of the mortars, which was not the plan there. I should have put the king down farther out, but that's okay. We still ended up doing really well on this raid. I go in here, put down my goblins, and I put down a huge line of barbarians, and they're just going to overpower pretty much everything that comes in front of them. Um, no more wizard... Oh, they have one wizard tower up there. And, uh, yeah, we're looking good so far. We actually almost ran out of time on this. We got the three star just in time. Like, we got it right at the end. Um, so we were really lucky about that. We had like one second left, and then we destroyed the last building over here, which was pretty sweet. And we ended up taking all the loot from him for a cool 420,000. And we did get some dark elixir in that raid, so I'd say worth it. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and move on to the next raid, guys. Alright guys, so we have another raid here. I'm not sure if I can beat this base at all though. I don't have my king with me, which is really unfortunate. And I need to be able to take out that mortar. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Maybe I can put down this queen and then I guess overpower it with some barbarians if I can get them in there. Um, we'll have to see. So I'm going to put down my queen right there. Uh, she's going to get ripped apart actually. This is not a good idea. I can tell right off the start. I'm um, going to put down my barbarians there. Uh, I think we can break through right here, maybe. They're going for that air defense, though, which is not good. All right, I need them to get through this wall. Once they get through this wall, we'll actually be okay, I think. Because um, then we can get to the gold mines over there and then kill the mortar. Come on, kill the mortar. I don't know how this raid's going to go, to be honest. There's a lot of gold in this base, though, and I just want the gold. So if we can get through to that, that gold over there. Okay, they're heading towards the gold, which is nice. And the mortar's not targeting them yet, so... We're looking good on that front, guys. Gonna put down some more goblins. We're gonna make it. It looks like we're at almost half the gold now. Now, if we can get this gold inside here, I will be super stoked. Alright, cool. We got some of it. And are they gonna die? I think they're gonna die. No! Go for the gold mine, please! Okay, we're actually doing alright. Wow, I'm actually really impressed. This started off looking really, really bad, and now it's, it's actually going okay. Alright, can I get through to this elixir though? That is the question. We are at a million here. I only need a couple more in order to hit our goal, guys. I think I need 20,000 more, so I don't think the mortar is going to be able to reach them. So I am just going to put down these goblins, and they should be able to break through that wall and get there. Unless the mortar does target them. We are going to get there. Cool. So we're going to grab that extra... I guess it was like 37... No, yeah. 37,000 right there, and we are good to go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it now. Actually, we, we need to wait for the 50%. want to climb again, up again. We got really lucky there, actually. I didn't think we were going to be able to do that with those mortars. Um, wasn't able to hit this one right here. That's all right, though. I'm happy with what we got. Wait, we might be able to? No, the wizard tower is going to wreck them, isn't it? Uh, we'll see. Come on, get through. Oh, wow, we're going to get it. Yes, okay, that works out. We missed one, though. Oh, we missed the one over here. Cool, so we got a whole bunch there. One star, 367,000 gold. I'll take that any day. That is awesome. And 178,000 elixir, which, to be honest, they're kind of the same resource when you're working on walls. They're just the resource that you're going to use to get walls. But I'm um, going to go ahead and get my two walls that I wanted for this episode, guys. So I'm going to get one and get another. I'm going to continue uh, making progress videos for Town Hall Level 9. I'll probably do, like, sped up versions so I'm not just doing the farming over and over again. I'll show you guys the big upgrades I'm doing and how many walls I've had uh, upgraded. Um, so I'm trying to get this inner circle done first. Hopefully I can get that done in the next couple days. I will be streaming this account, farming on it, and um, I'm going to be working on the walls as much as I can, guys. I'm also going to be doing Town Hall Level 9 war base layouts, and I'm probably going to start participating in wars on this um, account just so I can get that extra loot. The loot is really good in wars. So look forward to that, guys. Well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Road to Max Town Hall Level 9. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below, and let me know if you guys want to see more of these. Um, you guys like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy.